The Australian Department of Home Affairs have announced that they are ending visa hopping. My name is Joanna Hill. I'm a registered migration agent with Port Migration. So let's have a look at what this means. Firstly, what is visa hopping? Now, Home Affairs are calling the practice of remaining in Australia through jumping between different visas. They're calling this visa hopping. Okay. Now there are examples of this that they're targeting. So one example is when people hold a student visa, then they hold a graduate visa and then they jump back to a student visa. Another example of what they're targeting is would is people who arrive in Australia holding a visitor visa, then they apply for a student visa and then maybe another student visa. Before we continue, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. We have over 600 subscribers and we're really glad that our videos are helping people on their Australian visa journey. So what does this crackdown on visa hopping mean for people who are currently in Australia or planning to come to Australia? I'm recording this on the 13th of June, 2024, and there is more information in the links in the description. So what does this mean? Firstly, from the 1st of July, Visitor visa holders in Australia will not be able to apply onshore for a student visa. Apparently 36,000 people have done this between the 1st of July, 2023 and May, 2024. So from the 1st of July, 2024, people onshore in Australia holding visitor visas will not be able to apply onshore for a student visa. So that's the first way that the Department of Home Affairs are cracking down on visa hopping. Now, secondly, the second way, from the 1st of July, temporary graduate visa holders will not be able to apply for student visas onshore. So from the 1st of July, if you hold a temporary graduate visa, you won't be able to apply for a student visa while you're still in Australia. So essentially this will stop people from holding a student visa, holding a temporary graduate visa, and then applying for another student visa. Now, apparently, 32% of temporary graduate visa holders go on to apply for another student visa when their TR expires, according to the Home Affairs press release. So 32% of graduate, temporary graduate visa holders are then applying for another student visa after their temporary graduate visa. So the government is aiming for people to move towards visas that have permanent residency options rather than moving back to another student visa after their temporary graduate visa. So that won't be possible. It won't be people won't be able to do that from the 1st of July. Now, this goes along with the other changes that are being implemented on the 1st of July for temporary graduate visa holders, including the shorter post-study work rights, the reduced age limits, and the English language requirements, which were announced earlier in the year. Now, what else have the government done to crack down on visa hopping? They've introduced more no further stay conditions for visitor visas. This was announced earlier in the year and we've already started seeing this happening. So more visitor visas are being granted with the no further stay condition that prevents people from applying onshore while they hold a visitor visa for another visa. So this was announced earlier in the year. And then there's the graduate, the genuine student requirement. So this was also implemented in March. The genuine student requirement prevents people moving between student visas that don't have a logical course progression. So um, moving between student visas with a logical course progression is still okay, but you know, if you are studying, say, a master's and then you drop back to studying a trade qualification and then you jump into an HR degree, then that would not be seen as a logical course progression in most instances. So Prepare now for these changes if you're onshore in Australia and your plans will be impacted. If you'd like more information, there's a link to the government press release in the description below. And if you found this useful, please like and subscribe. Thanks.